All right, so there's the other eye, and what I'm going to suggest is that you take off a little bit, or depending upon how much of this white you put on all the way over here, you might want to take some off because it did kind of look weird, so took some off. But again, um, that's kind of depending on how you're sculpting it, and again, just it varies depending upon, you know, things look better or look worse uh, as you sculpt and add parts. So before it looked fine, but now once we add the eye there, uh, it didn't look as good, so I took it off. Okay, so that's essentially his head um, as it stands. I am going to add the little horn on now. We probably can because we don't have to work around the eyes at all. And it's a good thing I didn't add the horn originally. Uh, really easy. It actually kind of came out in the shape uh, that I, I took this from the clay block. And it kind of looks like it already, but pretend that you didn't and pretend it's a circle. Right? It would be helpful to roll into a circle, whatever shape it is, and then just kind of make that long piece and then point it over. So that's the horn and you might want to flatten it. I thought you do want to flatten it at the bottom. And then there you go. That's an SPO horn. This one might be might be a little too big. I'm actually not too sure. Um it's not really too big, but I'm just gonna for my own pickiness make it a little bit smaller and kinda put it right. Turning down on his face. Right like that. So, that looks pretty cool. The last thing I'm going to do on his head is, uh, wow, this clay is in the sun, and it shouldn't be in the sun because it's going to bake. Yeah, I got, like, the shades open, so. Um, is our, in the instruction booklet, he does have a little bit of, like, a ridge over his eye, and I think we should add that because SPO kind of, especially in classic SPO, he really does, like, I, I noticed that you got to sculpt him with that ridge, so it would just look a lot better I think if we did so I uh, just kinda gotta get some clay and you know form it into that long piece like we've been doing for most of the parts and work it into the top just using see you can kinda see there's a ridge there I'm working it into the circle from the top don't touch the bottom at all because you need that to look like the ridge in his eyes so um see it does it, it adds a very small a portion of depth, but I think it's worth putting in there. Uh, so do the same thing to the other side, and make sure again that they're equal to each other in terms of size. And do the same thing, only working on the top. And you know. That actually helped us quite a bit. I'm really glad we did that because in doing that, we flattened out the head. See, the head is a little bit more. It's like it's like flat now, which helps a lot because I think it it, it kind of formed these little the, the triangle parts a little bit better. See, so it does work out. I'm gonna bend that up because I think it looks a little bit better, and I'm gonna bend this up because I think it looks a little bit better. And that right there is the head to modern SPO. We are forgetting one thing though, and I almost ended this part before I added it. We gotta put a little mouth on him, so. Oh, it kind of came out like that, but see, uh, I'm gonna make it small, because SPO doesn't have a really huge mouth. He's a ninja. SPO nin means ninja in Spanish, I believe. Last time I checked it did. So just a small thing. You guys saw how I did that? Just make a really small line, and then just put it on and it kind of ripped but don't make it a don't make it like a cute like a smile don't make it a frown make it kind of like a hmm yeah a noise hmm that's a good way to explain it so right like or right like that there we go i think that's a really i'm guys i'm gonna like just praise myself here but for not sculpting an, an spo nonetheless modern spo in a while i'm pretty happy with how this looks and I hope you guys had as much success. So that was his head, and now we're going to move on to his body. And this is already a pretty pretty big scale. Again, remember what I said about um, the size, because even though you might start off with a ball that big, um, as you add more clay to it and stuff, it, like we did with the, these triangle things, it got bigger and bigger, and then we put the horn on and the eyes, and it just, you know, now it's, it's that big, so... Uh, keep that in mind, and you'll be good. So that was part one. We took care of the entire head. Now part two is the body. 
sculpted the head, which is right over here. And now we're moving on to the body. So the body is probably, it's probably the most essential piece when sculpting any clay figure because the body holds the limbs and the head. So without the body, then you could not have a completed clay figure. So, just like with all the other models, the most important thing to keep in mind when sculpting the body is, again, the size. But you, this is the thing. You want the body to be big enough so that it, it supports everything, but not too big so that it looks stupid. So, I'm going to say that's probably a good size. Um, you kind of just have to eyeball it depending upon how much clay you ended up uh, using for the head. So, I'm going to roll this like that. And SPO has a long body, so kind of sculpt it down uh, like that you know really look good it's actually a really really good size uh, so all right I guess that's kind of the body <laughs> end of part two not um, yeah, I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this yeah he really doesn't have see I, I'm, I'm flashing back to like my shadow tutorial and stuff and I'm just like how did I end up like I, I, I had problems with the with the um the body and stuff, but I really am not gonna have problems with SPO because he has a lot less detail on him. He pretty much has a tail and some scales, which I almost did forget. So it's a good thing I reminisced about last episode's tutorial. I think it would be best to put the scales on first because it's probably the last thing that would smudge. So get some green because he has some scales. And no, I'm not a Sonic fanboy or an SPO fanboy, so I would not know how many scales exactly he has on his back, and you want to pick a side too that, um, I don't know, isn't as good as the front, like, if the front's really smooth, we're going to be putting his little shape there, so you wouldn't want to pick a side that's, like, really smooth or anything, so, um, it's the back, so you're not really going to be looking at the back, this is more just, if you're looking at a whole 360, but, you know, you guys know what I'm saying, so, uh, just kind of put on some scales like that, uh, I should zoom in. Again, having problems trying to remember to zoom in into, you know, all that stuff. Keep the clay in the camera. So, I th I'm going to put, like, three, because three is going to fit onto this one. Um, the scales are really easy to make. I don't know if you guys saw me do that one, but, like, I, I did. I just got some clay. Pretty much circled it out, just like everything. And, uh, put it on. Kind of with no rhyme or reason. Just kind of, kind of making it look like like scales. I'll put one more on, just for the sake of it. Uh, I think I'm going to sculpt the legs now, because it's probably the next most important thing. And we're going to use our friends. What friends? Everybody says in unison. These friends are the toothpicks. Uh, they're like the most underrated thing in clay sculpting in my book, but they're the most helpful, honestly. Because they're, they're pretty much like the life and death between your clay model. Like, if you don't use toothpicks, then it's going to fall over in the oven, and you're going to have a mess to try and repair and stuff. But if you use them in the first place, then you don't have a problem. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, especially when attaching them to uh, clay like that. All right, so the leg, again, is just clay that's been rolled out. That's really all it is. And what, See, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put toothpick all the way in the leg... And it might come out, like, right there, and then you get a little excess, but that's fine. Roll it out, and you're going to have to break it off, obviously. Um, take some of that off, and put it right in the clay model, like that. Uh, so you might have some problems with some air inside, like the clay. I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, you might it might not actually... Like, it might come out too thick, like, th see, it's a little bit thick here, so just kind of work it in. And then it'll look a little bit better. And then again, making sure he's all in scale, that's that should be fine. So, now all you gotta do is make another leg, but I'll continue on to the shoe, and then I can make another leg separately, because if I showed you guys how to make one, then just replicate it on the other side. And I got all this weird stuff on the clay. Stupid wood from the toothpicks when it broke. Alright, so now the shoes are kind of hard, um, but they do require black. And I, I think I'm going to have to try something different here, and I'm going to have to try and uh, mix some clay. I tried that once. It worked to a degree, but it just lightened the clay, honestly. That was years ago, though. 
Um, but I don't think it's very advised to mix clay, but I don't have any gray with me at the moment. I, I think SPO's little, um, these little things right there, I, I think that's gray. Uh, they might be white, but I would, don't imagine they would because then they'd kind of be the same color as the gloves. Anyway, I want to try and mix some clay. But for first, uh, his little sock things are different than Sonic's and Shadow's and everybody else because they're not sock things. They're like, I don't even know what you call them. But flatten a top piece just like Sonic's. Make sure they're in size again because you don't want you don't want it to be too big or anything. Um, that's a pretty good size. Yeah, that's not a bad size. So now I want to try and mix some clay. I'm going to mix some black and some white. I'll let you know how that goes once I...